games. You're in the game. <laughs> What's up y'all, it's I'm All Thumbs and I'm back again. This time I got a uh, kind of a bonus video I was filming for another video and I picked up this howitzer in a fire sale and I had a bunch of extra cash so I packed a punch to figure out see what it could do and I was actually quite surprised by how effective it was so I thought I'd uh, make a video about it. So first of all when you pack a punch this thing it's called a loose cannon and it's got 50 shots, 5 in the gun and 45 in reserve first thing I recommend is definitely get bomb stoppers. Uh, it's very similar to the baby's breath in that it causes a lot of explosive damage and you don't want to take any of that yourself. It's got kind of a weird deal here with the reload uh, I feel like I should talk about. So it's similar to the M1 in that you can only reload if the clip is completely empty. But if you pay attention as I shoot, you'll notice that the clip itself will reload one at a time if you don't shoot the weapon. Which means if you're not spam firing it, you'll pretty much always have a full clip. Since this gun is most similar to the baby's breath, I'm just going to compare the two real quick. First of all, this one only has 50 shots, which means it's got a definite ammo disadvantage compared with the baby's breath. But it does have a much larger effect area, which means you can save some ammo that way. Also, it does some splash damage, and the splash damage has a stun effect on the zombies around, causing them to stand still, very similar to the wind element. Get these guys behind me here, and I'll light them up and you can watch them just stand still wait for that second shot to come in it's a nice little advantage anyhow this thing is still wrecking zombies as you saw uh, straight up with double tap till round 20 21 maybe but uh, as we go up in the rounds it starts requiring two hits and I'm thinking it'd be effective to about round 25 maybe before ammo starts to become a problem with the extra hits it's gonna take it does kill pretty quickly. Uh, because of the limited ammo, I recommend horde killing. Just train in some zombies up behind you until you get the whole horde out and then smash them one time. Uh, I feel like where it's really going to come in handy is for key farming. Because the current strat has us quitting around 25 or so anyways, give or take. And then starting over. So this thing used in conjunction with the baby's breath. Uh, and you could really kill your way through some hordes pretty darn quickly, I would think. Also, I would think it could be handy during SETICOM defense rounds, although I haven't tried it personally. I can only imagine if you stood in the corner and just shot the SETICOM itself, it would pretty much destroy or stun anything around. If you're a zombie records guy, you may see some usefulness in it uh, for a 30 speed run, if you were lucky enough to get it off of uh, an early wheel spin. If you have tried this thing before, or if you rush out and try it after you watch this video, also, if you can think of any other places where it might come in handy, uh, go ahead and let me know down in the comment section. Alright, well I hope uh, you guys get, do get this thing off the uh, wheel. You pack a punch it and give it a shot. And uh, have some fun with it. Thanks for watching this one, and I'll catch you on the next video.